Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Okay, let's check out what we got for you right now. We have for you a quite, quite rare. For me, it's very rare. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person, but we got for you, it's a 143 scale, 1981 Lancia or Lancia, however you say it. Beta HPE. Now, this is part of the Beta family. It started back in the 70s. This specific model of the Beta, just to be more specific, it started back in 1975. And it sticked around all the way down till 1984. This one specifically is in 1981. It's a die cast. It's a great quality brand called Mini Champs. And they made this die cast. And I really, really love it. I love this model. It's not easy to find. I'll let you know right now if you're interested in buying one of these. They're not cheap because it's a rare, rare model. Even in the die cast world. But I found it and I love it. Now, I was doing my little research on the, on the model. And I didn't know that HPE stands for High Performance State. But then they changed it to High Performance Executive. I guess they didn't want to make this car look like a state. I know a lot of countries they call state, they call them like the station wagon type. And this definitely is not a station wagon. It's a weird shape. I would say it's like a hatchback kind of shape extended you know but uh i don't i don't think it's a station wagon it doesn't give me station wagon whatsoever to me a station wagon one of the things that represent more or less more of the station wagons is the third section you know you have another window that you can see like the either another group of seats or a trunk or something but you get to see that and this definitely gives me more hatchback style i like the shape I find it like a bit of stretch. Maybe if it would have been a little shorter, I wouldn't mind. But the stretch part of it, it kind of, it looks good. I like the back a lot. Believe it or not, a lot of people are going to say, what? I like the back. It's different. It's different. Now, this car came out with, um, let's see, with the 2.0 engine. It was a bit of high, more high performance for the belt, for the better group. Um, actually back in the seventies, it was, it was with the 16 or the 1800 twin cam engines, but in, uh, then in November of 1978, if I'm not mistaken, they replaced it to the new 1.6 and the 2.0 engines. And, you know, little by little, they remodeled. They refreshed them a little bit here and there. But the shape of form is more or less the same throughout the years. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting car. Um, it's a weird car. I'm not going to lie. It's a strange looking car. But I don't find that bad at all. I'm not going to lie. You know, sometimes you don't want to get to see the same cookie cutter models. Same shape and forms. So when you get to see a different form, shape, you know, you kind of want to... Some people are quick to criticize. But I'm more quick to appreciate. Because otherwise, how many sedans, four-door sedans we get to see nowadays... How many SUVs with the same shape of form? With a little here and there difference. Some tail lights different, front different. But the shape of form is basically the same. Now you don't see models like this any anymore. I think the one, the last time I saw a car with such a big rear window in the back. I would have probably said the Volvo C30. The hatchback from Volvo back in the, back in the, how you call it, in the early 2000s, until like 2011, 2012, more or less, when they stopped making them. But I haven't seen them since, like this type of, maybe if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, guys, 
I'm talking to the top of my head right now, what I remember so far. But yeah, that's more or less my um my memories of them. Alright guys, so I'm gonna let it go around a few times so you can have a nice look at it and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what do you guys think about this model? Before anything, I want to ask, are you familiar with this model? Have you ever seen them in person? Me, myself, never. I never seen them in person. I wish I did because I, <laughs> I like what I see, but I've never seen them in person. And hopefully the few of them around, they still have them in good condition. I know Lancias or Lancha, however you want to say it, they were not the best uh, in the rust world. They didn't hold up very well with the rust. Unfortunately, my Italian car makers back in those days, they were good cars, great looking cars, but their quality of those sheet metals were not the best. But hopefully they're still around, someone taking care of them. Don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up. I really, really, really appreciate that you helping me share this with the world by you putting, um, sharing the video. Share a video with friends, family, and other people that you know that like Stycast and resins and all this world that we're in. You know, we don't want to hear more drama. We want to enjoy what we like and f have fun. And this is my distraction, believe it or not. But don't forget to subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button that will remind you when I'm posting more videos. So, hey, it does the homework for you. Why not? <laughs> and don't forget, stay safe, and I'll see you on my next video. Good, goodbye.